Do you just pick your samples and use them as they are? Well, stop. This might be the reason you are not getting the results you want. That's why today I'll show you a lot of tips and tricks that you can do with samples after picking them. And it may sound boring, but trust me, it's actually super important and it can improve your music production process so much. So yeah, let's get started. And also this video is brought to you by Skillshare, more on that later. Okay, here we are in FL Studio and I already picked my samples and let's just see what type of song we would have if we just use them as they are. Right off the bat, pretty bad. So let me show you a lot of different ways you can edit these samples. And I'll bet you that by the end of the video, you will learn something new. Anyways, let's start with the kick. So right off the bat, a few things you can do is move the out knob. This will shorten the kick. So you will still have the transient, the beginning of the kick, but the bass frequencies will be cut off. So if your kick is too bassy, you can just use the out knob. Another thing you can use to shorten your kick is adjust the length. Again, if you want just the top kick, go almost all the way and you'll have the top kick or the beginning of the kick only. If you want to go the other way around where the kick is too clicky, you can adjust the start and have a more bassy kick. Just a small adjustment makes a huge difference. The original with small adjustments. So you are pretty much changing the top kick by adjusting the start. So right off the bat, you can have so many different kicks just using this one sample. Now, one of the things you can do in the sampler is go to these effects right here. A lot of the people don't even know about this button, but it's here. And one of my favorite functions here is the pogo. So by adjusting the pogo, you pretty much create this effect where the pitch goes from up and down or down and up. But with kicks, it sort of creates a new top kick without affecting the rest of the sample too much. So if we lower it, we have this. If we make it higher, we have this. And again, just by adjusting it a little bit, we can create so many new kicks pretty much. And maybe we can have this. Another way you can adjust how clicky or how bassy the kick is, is by using the transient processor. So put your kick on mixer track number one and add in a transient processor. Now, if you increase the attack, the kick will be super clicky. If you increase the release, the kick will be super bassy. And if you lower the attack, there will be less click. You can actually see it visually here. Another way to adjust your kick is with EQ, which is pretty self-explanatory. But you can lower the high frequencies to have a deeper kick or any other frequencies to mess with the sound of the kick. And that is pretty much it for working with the kick. Now let's move on to the hi-hats. I have this long hi-hat on purpose. But again, you can do the out thing to shorten them and you can mess with the same effects as the kicks. But one really cool trick you can use is go to the envelope right here and enable the envelope and lower the attack, the hold, the decay and increase the sustain all the way up and release somewhere around here. So what that means now, as long as you hold the note, the hi-hat will play. But once you let go of the note, it will stop playing immediately. That means you can do shorter and longer notes with the hi-hat. And yeah, now if we go to piano roll and we play with the hi-hat, we can do a lot of different notes, longer and shorter. We can also enable the swing and maybe do some filler notes. Sounds good. Okay, so if you want to learn more about music production than just editing samples, check out our sponsor today, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is a platform where you can, you guessed it, learn some new skills, including music production. So if you are interested in making music, which I think you are, this would be a great place to visit. You have tons of classes by professionals explaining everything you need to know about music production. And these are not like short videos, these are full classes that can take a little bit more time to watch, but they actually explain everything in detail. For all FL Studio users, I would recommend this class by Riley Weller, FL Studio 20 Beginners Course. It has four hours of content and it teaches you everything you need to know about FL Studio. If you want to learn more, for example, about music theory, 
you can just search for it and you'll see all these classes teaching you about music theory. I actually really love this one by Fernando Aruda, which teaches you about music theory, but instead of using a piano, he uses a MIDI grid, which we all have access to. If you want to get access to these classes and all of the other classes on Skillshare, check out the link below. The first thousand people who click the link below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare premium membership, and you can learn a lot in one month. So check out the link below and now let's get back to the video. Now let's move on to claps. Now with claps, once again, you can use the same effects as I showed before with all these knobs and these things, but there's a few extra ones that I have in store for you. So we have this club here. Let's bring it to the playlist, Let's zoom in and hold shift to duplicate it. Hold shift while dragging your mouse, click on this, make unique. And now you have two different claps. As you can see, this one is two and this one is three. So double click on this one and reverse it. Then shorten it by holding the alt key, dragging it, and then just put it before this clap. And this is called a pre-shifted clap. Instead of just this clap, we have this. Maybe even pitch it down a little bit, because I imagine a deeper clap. And yeah, now we have a really nice reversed or pre-shifted clap. One more thing we can do with claps that I like to do is once again, make it unique so you can edit it separately, put it on a new channel and put reverb on it but just like the last clap or something. And this will totally change the clap and sort of show the listener that it's the last clap in the repetition. And there you have it. Now let's move on to the percussion. There is one effect I want to show you with percussion and that is going to envelope. And instead of enabling the volume envelope, we actually go to pitch and enable the pitch envelope. So this is the sound we have. Increase the modulation amount we can totally transfer this percussion into a different one once again. Or the other way around. And we can play with the attack, the decay, sustain, everything. So yeah, if we disable it, if we enable it, again, totally different percussion. And this is more obvious with different percussion sounds. So yeah, without it, with it, so yeah, we totally changed the pitch, the movement of the percussion, and that results in a different sound. So let's add the percussion here. Oh yeah, nice. Now let's move on to another sample, which is a synth shot. In this case, a bass plug that sounds like this. So I don't really want to talk about many edits on this one. Once again, you can use the same things that I already showed. But one thing you always have to remember is to go to miscellaneous and make sure to set the root node for this. So you can see the root node is E, it says it in the name of the sample. So just right click on E right here. That way in piano roll, all your notes will line up properly. So I have this little bass melody. Let's see how it sounds in the song. Nice. Another sound I'm adding is this down sweep. So what you can do with down sweeps well, many things. Now, of course, you can change the out to make them shorter. And if you want to make them even shorter, you can change the length as well and create like a short sweep. But I actually want a long sweep. You can also reverse it to create an up sweep, which is pretty obvious. And if the up sweep is too loud at the end, you can change the out to make it more quiet. One more thing you can do with down sweeps if you use them in channel rack instead of playlist is you can actually create this nice LFO automation. Once again, go to envelope, enable the envelope, make sure it's all down except the sustain, which is all the way up. Check this in LFO, change the speed to four and move the amount to the left and lower the attack as well. And now you have this sort of sign chained down sweep. But that only works in the channel rack. So if you want to use it in a song, just put the pattern with the down sweep note in here and you can actually hear it in the song. Let's also take this down sweep and reverse it to have this nice up sweep as well. One more thing I want to show you is vocal shots and some edits you can do with those. So I have this vocal shot here. And as you can see, it ends like this. So once again, set the root note to the proper one, which is D in this case. And one thing you can do to make this vocal shot play forever is do the crossfade like this. And now if we hold the note, it will play forever. 
that's really important with vocal shots and another thing I always do is change the polyphony to one so only one note can play at a time another thing to keep in mind is pitching them down so maybe you want to pitch the vocal shot down you're gonna have this deep effect but if you want to keep the natural voice of the vocal just change this to E3 mono instead of E3 generic so that keeps the color of the voice intact without it it's like creates this deep vocal so depending on what you want make sure to differentiate between these two same goes if you pitch it up so yeah, that is it for the vocals now let's include it in the song somehow And yeah, there we have it. I will not work on this no more. So just so you have some satisfaction and some finished result, here it is. Now just for fun, let's have a listen to this if I actually remove all the edits that I put on the samples. Here is how it sounds. Yeah, pretty bad. So yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out Skillshare, link below, get your one month free trial. And other than that, goodbye.